Alexander Schatz's office said on Twitter, in light of the social unrest and acts of vandalism, the prefect of Guadeloupe has decided to impose a curfew. Trade unions launched an indefinite strike on Monday. The protest of compulsory vaccinations of health workers against COVID-19 and health pass requirements after Guadeloupe's prefect Alexandre Rochat, who represents the government at the Caribbean archipelago, said the nightly curfew would run from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. The sale of gas in jerry cans would also be forbidden, he added. Protesters have tortured cars and erected makeshift barriers across streets. Video on social media showed police changing protesting firefighters who used fire hoses to try and repel the officers and plumes of smoke raising over neighborhoods. France will be sending over 200 police to the island after the demonstration turned violent, with barricades being turned over and fires being set, including cars which could lead to explosive dangerous consequences. In a joint statement made by French Interior Minister Gérald Dermanon and Overseas Minister Sébastien Lecornu, both officials agreed and stated that they strongly condemned the violence and has taken place in the last few hours in Guadeloupe.